guys welcome to my channel if this is your first time settling across one of my videos my name is princess and if you are returning back for yet another video thank you so much and welcome to you as well so today i'm coming to you in my pajamas my cute little turban and i was just in the mood to play in makeup today i had some new products well new to me products that i hadn't tried yet they just been sitting in a little sephora box off to the side and i was like you know what i feel like playing in some makeup today so you know let me turn on my camera sit down talk to my friends here i'm talking about y'all y'all my friends talk to my friends and you know just playing some makeup and create a look and see how this all goes together so if you guys like these types of videos then you're in the right spot and if you like to see what i use on my face to create this look then please by all means stay tuned so i'm not gonna hold you guys with chit chat we're just gonna go ahead and jump right on in All right, people, we're going to jump right on in. Yes, this is a first impression, you know, or try new makeup with me. And I know, I know, I got a head start, but y'all, my daughter keeps waking up. And so I had to go ahead and knock one of these eyes out so it wouldn't take that much time, okay? I'm trying to optimize my time. You mamas with young uh, children, you, you understand me, right? Okay, so no more formalities. Let's just go ahead and jump into getting this eye situation like this eye situation so i used um the urban decay born to run eyeshadow palette i'm going to be using a lot of products that i already featured in a recent haul um, if you haven't seen that haul video i'll go ahead and link a card to it up here um, so that you can check that out but yes i know i'm talking to the party um, on this palette but i just got it about a month ago and i really wanted to play in makeup tonight so that's why your girl is in pajamas you know i put my wig on for y'all but i ain't putting on no real clothes we family so we good right i'm gonna start by prepping my eyes with my makeup revolution conceal and define concealer in the shade c10 So I'm going to go in with my MAC 217 brush and I'm going to go into this orange right here called Stranded and I'm going to pack that into my crease. So while I'm doing this, I just want to thank you guys for showing so much love on my last video, which was the um, Juvia's Place uh, Foundation Review slash Wear Test. I got so many views on that video and if you found my channel because of that video thank you so much for joining the fam and if you have not subscribed girl go ahead and subscribe and while you're at it click that little notification bell because I as much as I would love to have a set uploading schedule I do not because you know my ability to film edit and you know upload videos is totally dependent upon my one-year-old and you know when mommy can have some free time so that's not frequent so I'm you know we, we, we getting there so just make sure that if you like my videos and if you enjoy my content go ahead and uh, click that subscribe button so that you will be notified when your girl do get a chance to upload a video so what I'm doing right now is I'm going into still shot which is this really pretty peachy color. And I'm using that to blend out those edges of that pretty orange color. And these eyeshadows blend like a dream. Now before I do any more blending work, I'm gonna go in with a, another fluffy brush. And this is a Sonia Kashuk brush. And I'm going to go into this shade right here called Weekender. It's a really nice uh, neutral beige shade. I'm going to put that up under my brow. Just to set that concealer and to serve as my first highlight. I am going to go in with the shimmery highlight later on. But I'm going to just set that concealer. 
and give these crease shades something to blend into. And then I'm going to go back into Spotlight, that peachy shade, and I'm just going to continue to blend. And I'm going to take this color in toward, up towards my, the head of my eyebrow. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going in with a flat shader brush. This is a Coastal Scents brush, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this is Coastal Scents, and it's the BRC number two. And I'm going to go in with this dark brown right here it's a warmer brown and i'm going to load my brush up and i'm going to pack that on the outer and inner corner of my eyes and i'm going to bring it up a little bit into my crease okay. so now that i pretty much have that where i want it I'm going to go back in with my MAC 217 brush. I'm going to go back into Strand It and I'm going to blend, pretty much blend that dark brown into the crease. I'm going to try to get a gradient effect. And then while I'm doing that, I'm going to drag the, you know, the leftover color over into the crease. You know what? Let me zoom y'all in because I don't feel like y'all can see good enough. Is that better? I feel like that's better. Okay, let's continue. So, blending that orange out. So, speaking of Juvia's Place, y'all, have y'all been following all of the, you know, the drama that's been going on with the brand? It's crazy because if you watch my channel, you know that I am and have been a longtime supporter of Juvia's Place. I, you know, I have every single eyeshadow palette that they have come out with. Um, I did purchase the foundation and the concealer when it launched. You guys saw that I did a review on that on my channel. Um, and I just, you know, I was a really strong supporter of the brand, you know. And uh, now with all this that's going on, I don't know how y'all feel about it. I don't know how I feel about it. This is not a drama channel, positive vibes only, but I'm curious to know, how do you guys feel? You know, do you feel like you're still going to support Juvia's Place? Are you still going to buy products, you know, from that company? But it's just crazy. And I just feel like there's been a whole lot of drama in the, in the beauty community lately, you know, and I stay far, far away from that. I stay on my little channel, in my little lane, minding my own little business, making my own little videos. What are y'all thoughts? I'm just curious. Let me know in the comment section below. Okay, I'm gonna go back into my uh, Makeup Revolution concealer and I'm gonna use a little concealer brush and I'm just gonna create a negative space on my lid um, to do you know, our lid work here. We're gonna go back into that orange with the little shader brush. This is a Sonia Kashuk brush, and I'm going back into that orange. It's called Baja. And I'm going to first put that right on the sides here, bringing some of that orange back into the lid. And I'm blending it in with that brown as I go. Okay, so now for this base, for this beautiful shimmery gold situation we have on our eye, I'm going to go into this color called Stranded. I hope the colors are showing up true on the camera. And I'm going to fill in all the rest of the space on my lid, like so. So guys, I'm not sure if you're aware, if you are an OG member here on my channel, um, then you may know that I started a series called Princess Speaks about three years ago and it was supposed to be a series of, you know, ongoing videos once a month, twice a month. The first video I did, um, I shared my experience in my abusive relationship with you guys and I got so much, um, outpouring of love and support and 
um, the response was just, you know, more than I expected. And, you know, I was so overwhelmed, you know, that you guys were really touched by my story and that you, so many of you guys in turn opened up to me and sent me, you know, messages and emails and DMs on Instagram, just sharing your testimonies with me and asking little on me for advice and prayer and all of that. And it just really, really, really touched me. And at the same time, it kind of scared me because I didn't, I don't know why, but I really didn't think that many people would tune in and watch those princess speaks videos and when i got such you know an outpour of support um and responses it kind of scared me um it made me nervous uh not that i am ashamed of anything that i've been through but you know you just realize how far the reach you know youtube has and you know i don't know it just kind of it kind of it kind of made me a little bit nervous and so i haven't posted a video um, in regards to my Princess Speaks um, series in three years, guys, three years, and I'm bringing it back. You know, it's really been on my heart. It's really been on my spirit, and uh, I'm going to bring it back. The Princess Speaks series is just about me sharing my personal testimonies. Y'all, I've been through a lot. Like, y'all won't even believe how much I've been through. I've been through, you know, so much trauma in my life, you know, and um I've learned so many lessons from it, and one of my passions is helping other young women, um, teenagers, young girls who have been through a lot of the things that I've been through, overcome it and letting them know that it's possible, you know, and just opening the dialogue for those conversations that are taboo that nobody wants to talk about and that everybody feels like they're the only one. Baby, you're not the only one, you know, and um, I just want to kind of like be a beacon of light in all the darkness out there and kind of help share my story to help encourage and motivate and hopefully inspire someone and talk somebody off the ledge who's, you know, engaging in self-destructive behavior. But if you guys have anything that you'd like for me to uh, talk about specifically, um, please let me know. It can be anything, anything at all. Um, you know, I'm an open book and um, yeah, I'm ready and I'm willing to share. So back to what I was doing. So pretty much I was just going back and forth, blending, adding a little bit more orange when I needed, adding a little bit more brown until I got this like gradient effect here. And so we're pretty much done with the lids. We're going to do some work on the bottom lash line. But um, I got this in my BoxyCharm. This is by the brand Ciate London. It's their Eye Luster Cream Eyeshadow. And I don't even know what color this is in. But it's this really pretty iridescent purple shade i thought that it was gonna come out purple you know from the applicator but it's not um it just gives a really nice gold reflect and that's what i have on this side when you compare it to what this eye looks like so i'm just going to add it on to my lid where i put that gold and then i'm going to blend it out with a flat synthetic brush Now that the eyes and I'm going to use my NYX eyeliner, I'm going to line my eyes and then I'm going to put on my lash here. This is from Feline Luxury Lashes, so I'm going to do these two and then I'll be back and we're going to get to the face. We're back and we have our lashes on and we'll finish the bottom, the bottom lash line. Yeah, bottom lash line, lower lash line, that's right, once we get our face together. So, okay, so I'm really excited about this. So... We're going to prep the skin using the Farsali Unicorn Essence Skin Enhancing Antioxidant Serum. Now, I got the little one because, first of all, this stuff costs $54, if I'm not mistaken. And secondly, I don't know if I'm going to like it. And um, if I don't like it, I'm going to be mad if I spend $54 on it. So, here it is right here. This is the bottle. It's pretty tiny. So, first of all, let's see what this smell like. Oh, it smells like cotton candy. It actually smells good. So let's do it like the girls on the Instagram tutorials. Let's see. Okay. I think I hear my baby crying, y'all. Oh, yeah. She's crying. Let's see if daddy can handle it. 
about my baby crying. Mom life. Dead smack in the middle of a tutorial that is going so good. Okay. I gotta go check on my baby. Y <sighs> okay. I finally got my daughter back to sleep. I don't know how much longer I have because she may wake up again. She breastfeeds, so she's trying to hold me hostage, holding me hostage by the boobie, okay? So, um, I'm sorry if I'm whispering. I brought my daughter upstairs, and her room is right across the hallway from my makeup recording room, so I don't want to wake her up. So let's go ahead and let's 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 go ahead and get this finished this before Avery wake up. Okay. So the next product we're gonna jump into is the Tatcha Silk Canvas uh, Filter Finish Protective Primer. I was really excited to try this. I also got this in a little mini size because I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it, and I think this is also fifty dollars, so it's pretty expensive. So let's dig in. Let's see. Oh, it's really smooth and creamy has a citrus smell okay so we're gonna put this on so the next product we're gonna go into is the bare minerals bare pro uh, performance wear liquid foundation bra spectrum spf 20 i have mine in the shade chai 26 i'm not even gonna tell y'all how long i had this foundation i'm not gonna do it because i don't want y'all talking about me and it does have a pump okay so let's go ahead and wait okay see hold on now okay oh it's very liquidy see that is running so this looks like it may be a good shade it's a little orange okay and i pumped out two pumps and i'm just gonna dot it on my face and we'll put my hair back i've been really liking to apply my foundation with brushes lately so i'm going to use the real techniques uh buffing brush to just kind of press that into the skin Thank you. Okay, okay. I actually like the way that this foundation is uh, setting in on my skin. Um, it's still a little sticky, but I can tell that I probably can pass on setting it. Um, but I, I'm going to go ahead and set it very, very lightly, though. But I'm thinking I don't really need to. But just for the sake of this video, we're going to go ahead and lightly set it using, this is a new product, the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. I have mine in the color 35 Tan Bronze. I've been seeing this all over YouTube. People just be talking about it like crazy. And I, when I see this product, it reminds me of one of my like old school favorite. Well, I don't even want to say old school favorite because I still use it to this day. Um, MAC Mirror Life Skin Finish, that's what it reminds me of. And so it's a little bit cheaper than the Mirror Life Skin Finish. So I was really excited to try it out. And so I have to say, Okay, powder. 
to give me the same okay this one is a little bit light I could probably have gone a little bit darker because this does give a little bit of coverage moving along because y'all know you know we is pressed for time let me use proper English before somebody come for me in my uh, comment section we are pressed for time okay uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and bronze I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty bronzer this is the Sunstalker bronzer in the shade caramel cutie I have used this already um, when I first got this shade I was a little worried that it may be too close to my complexion but as you can see no Riri knew what she was doing she knew she already knew because this color is perfect yes and i just keep putting it on because i love the way it blends there's no kick up in this pan it just blends out so nice. Y'all look how dark this foundation got. Got really dark. All right. Now, before we go into our next new product, I'm going to go back into our eyeshadow palette. And we're going to do something to this lower lash line. Let's see. What do I want to add? I think I want to add this color right here called Big Sky. Has been jumping out at me. It's a beautiful. Let me get a, give you guys a swatch on top of that foundation let's see you see that that color and i think it'll go i think it'll complement this really nicely too far to give up now okay so we just gonna keep pushing through so I have a Fenty what are these called kilowatt highlighter and I have mine's in the shade me money and hustler baby and y'all I've been waiting to try this on camera with y'all I know y'all have seen this before because these are not new so uh, let's see I, I'm gonna use both sides actually I'm gonna no, I'm going to use this size. So, what is this one? Hustler Baby. So, I'm going to use Hustler Baby. Ooh, creamy. Oh. Girl. You know, why would I expect anything less from Riri? No. Girl, let me blend this out. Baby. Yes. Same brush. I'm just going to put a little bit on my, at the peak of my brow bone. Y'all, I'm trying to get through this so fast, I can't even, uh, talk right. Yes. Mm -hmm. I just want to put it everywhere. Places I don't even need it, child. Mm -hmm. But y'all knew this already, because y'all been using this, huh? Y'all been having me out here. Not living my best life. I'm gonna use my favorite lip combination at the moment, which is the Coco Loco lip liner from Jordana. A uh, quickie lipstick. This was the collaboration with Makeup Shayla from Color Top, and I'm gonna top it off with some Fenty Gloss Balm and Fenty Glow. this is the final look and I have to say like I for real I love all the products that I tried today like do you see this face like it is snatched I 
feel cute. I'm low key mad that it's what time is it? One o'clock in the morning, and I ain't got nowhere to go. And I'm just literally about to go wash my face off and get in the bed because, girl, I feel cute. And if you hung through this video with all these shenanigans that I had to go through, you know, the struggles of mom life, you the real MVP. You the real MVP. Thank you for hanging in there with your girl. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please like and share. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any um, video requests, if there's anything else that you would like to see me do here on the channel, please drop your girl a comment uh, and a request in the comment section below. But y'all gotta go and take some pictures before my baby wake up and, you know, I gotta go take some pictures. So, thank y'all for watching my video. Thank you for hanging and kicking it with me late this Saturday night. Remember that you are perfectly imperfect love all of you because god does and so do i i love you guys so very much and i'll see you in my next video until then this is y'all take care and be blessed